Welcome guys to another video on my channel. Today I want to talk about mental strength and mentality in RC car racing. I know for some of you it might sound a bit absurd because it's just a hobby, it's just toy cars. But uh, in my opinion it's very important to improve your results and the mental side of things is so crucial for any professional driver. So if your dream is to become a better RC driver and become a professional in the future this is especially for you so you can learn something from me that I have learned throughout my career. I've been working with a sports psychologist that has helped me quite a lot in doing my mental preparation and just with my mental strength at the big races. So I think this is really important and make sure you stay until the end to hear all of these that I will be telling you about in this video. And quickly. I just wanted to let you know guys that I was going to make another video but unfortunately I just didn't like the way it, it looked when I was filming it and I just gave up and it was about belts on the 4 drive car you might have seen it on my Facebook or my Instagram if not then you should follow me over there to see what I'm up to so basically I was doing the video but I just didn't like the way it it was going and I am a kind of a perfectionist. I just want to give you guys the best uh, videos that I, I can do so I will do this video in the future but I just need some time to work out a way how to do it and where to put the camera because it's quite difficult so hopefully at some point in the future I'll be able to do it but for now it's a different video, different kind of video so hopefully you guys will enjoy it. And one more thing before we go further I want to give a very quick shout out to my friend Will. He has been making my thumbnails recently. You might have seen them. They've been uh, so much better than previously. He's a visual effects artist. So his email is in the description down below. And if you need anything like Photoshop or anything like that, let him know and he'll be for sure happy to help. And now let's go to the video. First thing that will definitely help you win on a race day is committing to preparation beforehand. So before the race you have to spend a good couple of hours to prepare yourself, your cars, make sure everything works perfect, everything runs smoothly just as I have been showing you guys in my previous videos. Just making sure everything is perfect for you so the cars are prepared in the way you don't have to worry about it and don't have to stress that something is not working and something broke on the first run and then everything just you know combines and, and destroys your confidence so making sure you go to the race making sure you're prepared it just takes the weight off your shoulders and you can be way way more confident going into the first practice because you know you have spent enough time working on the cars and that's for sure will help you at the very beginning of the race. Confidence is a huge thing in any sports or or in life and it is as well in RC car racing. It is racing and in racing you just have to be confident, you have to have this confidence in you that you can do something because it just gives you the, the ability to, to do your best and just go for, for the chance if you can see it. So it's so so important and preparing for the race like I've just said it, it just builds up the confidence then when, you, when you're at that race you have so much confidence in your cars because you have spent the time on them. Doing practice before the race is also very helpful to build up the confidence 
before the race because let's say round number one of practice your car breaks or someone ruins your run he doesn't let you through and then the whole thing starts collapsing if your confidence isn't high because you have no confidence you had not enough track time you have you had less track time than your competitors so everything might fall into pieces after only the first round if you don't have enough confidence in you and if the confidence is there i know i've used the word confidence so many times but this is so so important so if the confidence is there and you have it even though you, if your first practice run doesn't go your way you can still build up the momentum after practice two practice three q1 q2 to the finals which are the most important and you can still be able to win on that race With these mental tips, I want to help you guys win on a race day when you go to a big race. So the most important thing that you do when you enter the hole is if you are in the top heat, you are marshalling, stay after you marshalling, watch the track, watch the others drive it. Make sure you remember every corner, every jump before you go to the driver's stand. Pick your spot on the driver's stand. Just get familiar with the whole facility, with the track, with the corners. Talk to some of your friends that have been already on the track. See if they have any ideas what to change on the car. Compare your setups. Maybe you can do a setup change before you go out there to improve your setup straight away. And just save time. You know, this saves time. Spend your time watching the track and then you can save time changing it just before you run or uh, testing something yourself afterwards. If you can do it for your first practice run and your car will be better straight away. So this way you can get to know the track better before you go on the driver's stand. You can talk to some of your friends, maybe they can point out a, a special section of the track that is quite difficult and tell you what they found. This will be also very helpful and that's what I always do when I'm at the big race that I don't know the track or it's a fresh track like EOS carpet races. The fresh track is always built just before the event and then I just watch some of my friends, some of my teammates in the first uh, first heat and then see what they're doing, what their car is doing, then I can compare the setups, see what they want to do, want to change to the car and then I decide with uh, my team if I want to change it on my car as well or, or keep the same setup. But I already know the track, know where I'm standing on the driver's stand and I'm already familiar with the whole facility. Another very important aspect is making sure that you have enough oxygen, enough water and you are relaxed before every run. So what I do is go for a walk outside, breathe very deeply, have enough water in my body before I go to the driver's stand. Just relax, talk to someone or, or you can also stay quiet, breathe very deeply stand straight and just show your confidence as well to the others to maybe scare them a little bit but the most important thing is to just have enough oxygen so your brain works to the best of its ability and then you go up the driver's stand and go to your spot that you have picked beforehand and you should be in the zone like rc car racing is just any other i think we all race and you just have to feel as one with the car just feel connected and do your best out there, enjoy it, and just, just be in the zone, you know. Sometimes when there is a commentator in the track, I don't really hear what he's talking. I can hear like how many minutes are left, how many seconds are left, or what position am I in, how far I am behind someone, but I'm just in this zone that is only me and my car, and I'm just racing around the track. And this is so, so important because if there is not enough concentration, then you're not in the zone and then you might think about something else, you probably make a mistake. Then 
So just being as one with the car, being in the zone is so, so important to have that biggest amount of concentration that you can put into your racing. So it's your first round of practice, you just get into know the track the first time out there and practice is so crucial for your end result at any race and probably some people do not understand the importance of practice. In practice you have to test as many setup changes you can, you need to exactly find all the important spots on the track, find out if you're fast enough or you're too slow watch other drivers that are faster than you what they're doing out there on the track to see if you can improve in these sections because you are losing time to them in that part of the track so practice is so important and you have to have the confidence so you can try different setups if you're not fast enough even if you're TQ in the first round of practice you always have to look for something else because you cannot be in the position where you are first place after practice one and then you think okay I'm the fastest I will stay with the same car and just try to prove my driving. Sometimes it might be okay for you, it might be good because you have the confidence in your car and yourself so then you're going further and you're improving your lap times also but sometimes it can make others catch up to you and also pass you because they have made these setup changes and they improve their car and they also improve their driving so then they're faster than you and then it's Q1, suddenly you're second, third, fourth, and you're starting to struggle, you're thinking about changing your setup, but you're too scared. So making sure that you just try some stuff in practice is very important to improve your end result at any race you go to. And after practice is finished, you should stay with the same car for the whole event. That's goal for me, to just find the, my perfect setup in practice. It is so difficult, but this is my aim for every practice session at any race. So then I go into qualifying with high confidence that my car is good enough. And then into the finals, I don't have to change anything on the car. Maybe if the track changes, the track develops, there is different grip or more, more bumps, then definitely you have to change the setup. But if it's a carpet race, the conditions on the track do not change too much. And then staying with the same setup is so, so important. To build up the confidence and you can also improve your lap times just by doing laps on the track because you're getting to know the track better of course it's not like 15 minutes like three rounds of five minute practice it's not enough to do your best out there i'm sure you'll find some more speed just as i do i leave my cars the same after practice and then stay with the same car for the whole event like in january when we went to the us and down I made, I think, two little changes in both of my two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive cars in practice, first and second round, and then I stayed with the same setup to the end. I just changed tires, I just built up my confidence, which has helped me so much to, to win both of these classes at that event. So, so practice is very important. You have to be confident and brave enough to do some setup changes experiment a bit see if a different line on the track helps you makes you a bit faster and only then you can go into qualifying with again confidence and uh, do your best out there on the track and uh, enjoy yourself And now we go to the point of qualifying. If we're talking only about time scale, it's a five minute race. It's just five minutes. You have to put your absolute, the best on the track. Just be in the zone, you and the car. That's the only thing you have to worry about. Of course, if someone is faster than you, then let them go. Or hopefully if you're faster than someone else, pass them on the track. They, they should give you some space at least and just racing the clock. That's the most important thing in qualifying. You're racing the clock, you're not racing someone else. You have to stay out of trouble, be in that mindset that you're just racing the clock, just doing your best out there. 
and just give your everything because starting position is very important in pen scale. And after qualifying is finished, hopefully you have a good result in qualifying after my, my tips for you. So finals is probably the most difficult part of the race because the pressure is immense. Having that confidence again, it's also so so important because then the pressure isn't that difficult to control because if you're under pressure then the concentration is higher so having some pressure <laughs> again if you can control it it's also crucial to have that concentration at, at your best so you are just in the zone you are one with the car and you just feel connected to it so you can do the best laps out there you can and just just put everything that you can out there and the results should come your way. Of course, if you have given your best and you haven't won the race, that's not something you should be negative about or upset about because your goal, as I have said in my previous video, get better at RC right here. Click it after you finish watching this video. The most important thing is that your goal for that race is to give your absolute best not to win that race because someone might be better than you they might have the better car they might be a better driver at that event and there is nothing you can do about it so just giving the best to your ability is so important for you to come away from that event positive even though you didn't win that event and this helps you to de develop yourself as a driver and also your mentality because you'll be stronger you'll have better mental strength for the next event because you know you have given your best but someone was better than you you have the motivation to just improve your driving maybe find a new setup or something like that and go to the next race with confidence and motivation to beat that guy generally confidence once again probably maybe someone can count how many times i used in this word in this video confidence is number one being in the zone with the car is probably number two. Practice, trying different stuff and uh, just, you know, being brave enough to try something on the car. Even if it's good enough, just try something that you might think might work for you and you can go in even faster. And then there qualifying, consistency, concentration, being in the zone, being one with the car. And in the finals, just giving your best, controlling that pressure, but also do not feel too stressed about that you're feeling too much pressure before you go to the driver's hand. Actually, when like when your hands are getting sweaty or you're just being like very like nervous before the run, it's really good because the, the body tells you that you are ready for it. So just controlling it, not being too worried about it, and just control it. This will give you also the best uh, result at that race. I hope you found this video very helpful. These are the tips and just the most important aspects of mental preparation and also just some basic stuff about racing that you should do and use to your advantage so that you can win on the race day. And hopefully this will help you in the future. Please let me know if it will help you. You can fire me a message on Facebook or a comment. And if you have any questions who felt the go more into depth in of these aspects please let me know down in the comment section below definitely i will answer all of these and hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully it's uh, not too long and haven't been talking too much to you and i'll be posting soon some more videos and uh, i know this whole mentality thing might might sound a bit absurd to you because for some of you it's just a hobby it's just toy car racing but uh, f for me it's real racing even though it's an rc car and it's a 10 scale or 8 scale or 12 scale even uh, but it's i think it's real racing and the mentality the mental strength is, is so much needed in in our sport as well and that's why i've been working on it recently and i will continue working on it i forgot to say thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers on this channel it means to me a lot 
and thank you from the bottom of my heart and there is like a community building up here so I really enjoy seeing that and hopefully there will be more and more coming and hopefully you guys can connect with me even better in the future. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel and make sure that bell is on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I know this is not too important for you, but this is very important for me to develop and improve my videos for you guys so I can give you even better content. And for now, I will see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay positive and see you soon at the racetrack. Bye bye.